Barclay Card Arena. Um, I've been told by Sky Sports, our exclusive uh, live broadcast partner, that we've we have too many fights on Saturday. I don't I don't know uh, where they got that from, but uh, 12 fights uh, kicking off at 5 p.m. on Saturday night, and of course the homecoming of Birmingham's first ever world champion, Kalia Fight, defending his WBA Super Flyweight World Title against Japan's Taguru Maranaka, and a stack card as well. And um, we're going to get everybody to say a few words here, but before we start. Um, of course, another huge fight on the bill this weekend is Sam Eggington challenging for the European welterweight title against Serafino Rodriguez. And before we hear from everyone, a very special guest, I'd like a quick round of applause for the former unified middleweight champion of the world, Sergio Martinez here. We're going to start um, with a bottom table and a number of young fighters kicking off um, the action on Saturday night, great opportunity for them. Once again, I want to thank everybody in Birmingham. We're expecting over 6,000 in the arena on Saturday night. It's going to be a great atmosphere, and all these fighters have contributed to those numbers hugely. Uh, first of all, Aaron, uh, welcome to the show. Welcome back, and a big weekend for you. And obviously, a big night on Saturday, and a chance to be on a big show in Birmingham. Yeah, looking forward to um, fighting my hometown. It don't happen often. Um, like I said, it's the first time I've been on a match from show, and I, I honestly can't wait and uh, show the crowd, as well as yourself, what I'm made of. But um, I'm just grateful for the opportunity, um, thankful for the team behind me. Hopefully it will come together on the night, but I'm not hopefully it will come together on the night, and uh, we do the business. Lennox Clark, obviously uh, not far now from titles. Eight rounds for you on Saturday night, plenty of tickets sold as well, and a dangerous opponent. We saw him uh, in. Uh, with a big win at the Manchester Arena recently against Tommy Taper. Yeah, yeah, dangerous opponent. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Matt and for having me on the show. Um, the training's gone well. I'm just looking forward to getting the win on the night now. Thank you. Jordan Clayton, same again. Plenty of tickets sold. And uh, looking forward to Saturday night. Yeah, most definitely. Um, Saturday night can't go quick enough now. Lots of people behind me, supporting me. Just want to thank all my team. My, my coach, Paul Webb, Errol, for getting me on the show, and yourself, thank you. Corey, you're uh, experienced now with these big shows, looking forward to getting back to the arena. Yeah, um, it's my uh, third, third match room show now, uh, everything's gone great, training's gone well, and um, I just can't wait to uh, put on a good performance Saturday night. Charlie Williams, you've got following like a world champion yourself, uh, obviously boxed here before, and uh, ready for action on Saturday. Yeah, I cannot wait for this one. It's my second matchroom show, and um, there's so many people coming to support, and I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I really, really appreciate the um, the opportunity I've got from John Peg and obviously matchroom. They're getting me on there, um, so yeah, can't wait for the night, and hopefully everyone enjoys it. Most of these undercard fights will be shown exclusively on uh, Sky Sports Facebook. Um, Site and one fight that I'm particularly looking forward to, everyone seems to be very excited about, is the Midlands area fight between uh, Ryan Kelly and Adam Harper. Um, people tell me this is going to be an absolute war of a fight, and I know both guys have had a great camp. Adam, firstly, a uh, big opportunity for you, plenty of support as well, and uh, will this fight live up to the hype that the local fans are giving it? Some shoot on your shirt. <laughs> I just want to say a massive thanks to you first, Eddie, uh, for giving the opportunity. I think this fight's going to be absolutely brilliant. You know, a lot of people are talking about it. I think uh, the Birmingham Mail did a poll. I think only one person had me to uh, to win the fight. That's boring, man. I mean, the yeah, next bit. Um, the, I looked at the bookies today. Ryan's a favourite, like everyone's saying. But the bottom line is, I've trained absolutely, you know, to the T. I've, I've trained perfectly. Uh, the last champion to come out of my county in Gloucestershire was 69 years ago, a guy called Hal Bagwell. Uh, funny enough, he, he travelled all the way up to Birmingham uh, to win the Central Area title. And that's exactly what I plan on doing on Saturday night. I'm coming up here to spoil the party. And believe me, I'm gate crushing the Super Waterweight top 10 or top 15. I believe that I've trained perfectly. I've left no stone unturned. I'm in the best shape of my life, mentally and physically. And I generally believe that this will be the best part of the night. I've got nothing but respect for Ryan and his team. And the way that me and Malcolm Malvin have trained and prepared is shown that way. You'll see tomorrow on the scales, I'm in the best condition. And I plan on this being the best fight ever. I hope, I hope the fans get the money's, the money's worth out of this fight, and I believe they will. 
Um, you've got two young, hungry people who are coming, and I'm, you know, I'm going to leave it all in the ring, and I'm prepared to give everything in the ring on that night. I'm not going to leave anything, anything to doubt. I want to come and win that area title and move on to bigger and better things. Like I've said, I believe the winner of this fight will move on to English and British titles in the next 18 months, 12 to 18 months. I also feel that the loser will also move on to good things. We're both good top boxers. Sadly, I think Ryan will be the loser on Saturday night, so we'll have to regroup and go again. But I am going to be winning this title and moving on to bigger things. But I just want to thank my coach, um, Malcolm Malvin, my nutritionist, uh, Brett Smith, and all my support coming up. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, If, if, you, if you fight like you talk, we're going to have another unified world champion. Well, so. And if it goes wrong, Eddie, I'll have a job as a punter. Yeah, no problem. You, you've got it. You've got it. You've got it. <laughs> Ryan Kelly, you are their favourite, apparently, going into this fight. I'm sure the speech won't be quite as long, but yeah. feel free. Um, a lot of people excited about this fight and a big opportunity for you on Saturday. Yeah, as you said, I'm not going to try and compete with his talking because he's, he's good at that. But I don't think he's as good as boxing as he is as talking. So, Saturday night, you're all going to see what I'm bringing to the table. The title's coming home with me, I don't know what he's going on about. Um, but you're, up for, you're in for a good fight, very good fight. I respect him, I don't like him I, at all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be interesting, I look forward to it. And thanks again for uh, Eddie and Max Room, all my sponsors. I'm truly grateful, so we'll see you on the night, Saturday night. Good man, that'll be on live on Sky Sports Facebook around 6.45 p.m. Another very, very important fight with another big talker, but he's French, so you're not going to hear too much. Uh, Frankie Gavin against Renault Garrido kickstarts uh, the action on Saturday night on Sky Sports and a must, must win fight for Frankie Gavin. Renault Garrido is a very, very tough, tenacious young man. You saw him virtually end the career of Bradley Saunders, who I think was about 16 and 0 at the time in Liverpool recently. Uh, welcome, Reno, um, and a, a big chance for you on Saturday. Yes, for me, it's a big chance. Um, explication. It is hard for me to speak English, but out of respect for you and uh, your language, I will try to speak in English even if it is funny sometimes. You understand? <laughs> I respect Gavin when he was champion of amateur world. Me, I was a little delinquent after in the black period of my life. I changed a red option and two years later I made my first amateur fight. My black story give my today a power facing in the power. My strategy is simple. Technique facile facing the physical the, the physical talent facing the work, I will train, try to box and move. Um, I am used to fight in England, this country, this country and the, these people I love so much. I have a lot of support here and it gives me even more desire to make a great fight thanks to all my English supporters and well and my brother in arm. Tom Jim, Alan Levin, Robbie Davis, Liverpool, etc. etc. Thanks also to the Matchroom Eduan promotion and uh, agent and matchmaker, all uh, thanks. Thank you very much. Very impressive. Very impressive. I think Frankie translated that means was he's going to chase you all over the ring on Saturday night. <laughs> and uh, you know exactly what he does. Um, full of life, full of action, very, very tough, and a chance for you on Saturday night to look very good and, and a must win fight. Yes, the one must win fight tonight for me. But uh, yeah, Renault's a bit of a madman, as you can see. As you can see in all his other fights, he doesn't stop coming forward. He's a bit of a machine, but technically he's nowhere near as good as me. He won't be as big as me, he won't be as strong as me. I'm sure on the night I'll put his display on. I'll show everyone that Frankie Gavin's back and means business. I had a great camp. Obviously I've moved camps now, I'm in a busy gym, a lot of good fighters in there. My last fight with Sam Eggington didn't go to plan but it was still a war and everyone was still talking about it, still talking about it now. So hopefully I'll put on another performance Saturday night, show you all that I'm back, I'm main business and I'm on boats. Thanks for all your support, thanks again everyone. Oh, thank you.
first of our uh, championship fights on the card um, outside of the Midlands area is a fight that I can't wait for, and that's uh, the Birmingham Derby between Showtime Sean Davis and Gamal Yafai for the WBC. I think this is a fight that everybody's very, very interested to see. Of course, Gamal has looked sensational. This fight was scheduled um, previously. He had an injury. He's come back with a win in Germany. But of course, Sean Davis had the opportunity on that show to go on, enjoy the experience, learn from the experience of being on a big televised show, win that WBC international title. And uh, I believe this is a very, very tough fight for both fighters, and I really can't wait. Firstly, Sean, um, this fight was supposed to happen before, but like I said, now you've had that experience, you must be very confident going into this fight. Yeah, you know, um, as soon as you come onto the big stage, there is those slight pressures, you know, in the back of your mind, and you, you want to perform, you're over eager to perform. Um, it's, it's, it's something I can't wait for. I don't, I don't, this one, I don't see myself as the champion, I see myself as a challenger. I'm challenging for the position of being the best in Birmingham, and that, that's something that means a lot to me. Something that I've trained ridiculously hard for, and something that you know I've sacrificed everything for. You know, I, I don't spend no time with my kids, don't spend no time with my family. Everything has been for this moment on Saturday, and it's going to show. Obviously, the Battle of Birmingham, but also Gamal and yourself, effectively, right on the verge now of a British title shot as well. Yeah, you know, um, I've got massive respect for Gamal and his team. Um, he's, he's done a lot. He's done a lot as an amateur. Um, done a lot as a pro. Um, I know it's going to be a very hard fight, but it's something I've prepared for mentally and physically better than ever. Um, you know, just want to thank everyone from Birmingham as well for getting behind all the fighters. You know, to, uh, it's it's great to have Birmingham boxing, uh, big time boxing back in Birmingham. You know, we want to keep it here, so we are, we owe you lot a big thank you as well. Um, thanks to Matchroom Eddie Home for getting me back on as well. Interested to talk about this fight, I'm fascinated by the fight in general. Many feel that obviously Gamal is someone who forces the pressure, yep. big puncher as well, and that you'll be fighting more off the back foot. You see that, that happening that way, obviously, in your last fight against Economedias, you mixed it up. Do you yep. think you'll have to mix it up in this fight as well, and do you think you can do that? Of course, yeah. Um, as I train, I prepare for everything. So if he, if he changes style halfway through a round, I'm prepared for that. You know, I, I, do, I do all the homework I need to. Um, yeah, we prepare for everything. So no, nothing, nothing anyone can bring you is going to phase us. Gamalia fight. I know it's a fight. Obviously, you're excited about as well. Yeah. Um, frustrated that it didn't happen the first time, but now you had a, a long camp. Obviously, the little tune-up in Germany, yeah. and again a must-win fight for you on Saturday. Yeah, of course. Um, something I'm looking forward to. Um, show my skills and skills sports, and to um, all the brothers in the arena. So um, yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait now. Obviously, uh, people talking about the styles in this fight. I'm not sure if you talk about sports. You said that you're not just a puncher, yeah. boxer as well, and, and happy to, to box with him as well as obviously work and trade with him. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm happy to box with him and fight with him. Obviously, um, the, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be putting pressure, but clever pressure. And um, it's going to show on Saturday night. Obviously, uh, plans for the British title, European, eventually move on with your brother to try and become a world champion, but how important is it to win and look good against Sean Davis on Saturday night? Of course, um, if I want to be a world champion, no disrespect to Sean Davis, um, I respect him, but if I want to be a world champion, I've got to be beating these type of kids, and um, that's our plan I'm doing on Saturday night. Before we move to the European welterweight title, I'm bringing Max McCracken. Max, obviously a huge night for you on Saturday, uh, the, the big Birmingham derby, and also your charge, Calia fight challenging, oh, sorry, defending his, his world title. Great times in the gym and a tough fight for Gamal as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough fight for Cal as well. You know, the kid had been beat for 10 years, so it's a tough challenge, but Cal had all the answers to Saturday night. Same with Gamal. You know, I think it'd just be too much for Davis. He thinks he's just going to storm forward, swing in bombs, but he did not know Gamal. He's a world-class boxer, you know, a world-class amateur. He showed the skill Saturday night. It'd be too much for Sean Davis. And what have you seen from Cali Fai since he won that title? New confidence as well, looks fantastic in the gym and on the pads, expecting a great performance for him for his homecoming. Yeah, just believe in himself. I think Carl's in the least fight. He'll go on the show that in the next few fights. You know, just, he just believes in himself so much. And he'll do a job on Maranaka. Is that right? Thanks, Max. Uh, Sam Eggington, 
the journey has, has been sensational. I think one thing that Sam Eggington should be particularly proud of is the comeback since the defeat to Bradley Ski. It was a disappointing night. He had a warm-up fight. He beat Frankie Gavin in a fight of the year contender. He stopped Paulie Malinagi and on Saturday has a chance to beat the European champion and become European welterweight champion. 23 years of age. And I was thinking, how close is he to going on and challenging for that world title? And I think victory on Saturday night will probably put him within touching distance. And it is a remarkable story. Someone that used to be renowned as just this tough guy who was always in great fights, now beating world-class fighters time and time again. And a huge opportunity on Saturday night. Sam, obviously, uh, after the 17,000 at the 02 against Paulie Malinagi, a little bit of a, a you know, uh, a downtime for you in Birmingham, yes. but a big chance to win the European title and obviously setting out in your career something that would have been an absolute dream. Yeah, no doubt. It's, um, it's a huge fight and it's, it, it's Birmingham's biggest show, so you know it means a lot. Um, and you know to, 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 to be mandatory for the European title after you know where we started is, is, is a massive accomplishment, but you know we're definitely going out on Saturday you know, night to win the title. And like you say, push on for, for, for bigger titles or at least, you know, more defences. Obviously, uh, Serafino Rodriguez won the title recently.